people said good night my fellow subscribers welcome back to the channel if you're new here please subscribe leave a comment down below and don't forget to like the video if you're already subscribed to the channel like share leave a comment down below if you don't want to leave a long comment it's always best in cases to leave a short comment or even might as well just leave an emoji or just leave the flag from the country we uh, support the channel from now we are go over to today's proceedings with the clansman case that is previously in the courts as we speak so this is the latest coming out of the clansman trial clans gang trial alleged gang had source at spanish town police station the alleged gangster pastor link to the clansman wandan gang as disclosed that an alleged gang as a police source at the spanish town police station in St. Catherine's, who provides the organization with information. Stephanie Christie told her cronies that among the information received were details about the police private patrol car. Christie was heard today in one of the secret recordings telling the ex-gangster turned prosecution witness that the police man rated respected reputed leader Andre Bryan and was a friend of a friend of her boyfriend. Her boyfriend is fellow defendant Fabian Crox Johnson. Yeah man, we I tell you we have one police friend we down a CIB, the Central Investigation Branch, you know. Him did kill a youth, a you and them take him off at the front line. Dotty take him off, they were completely but he win the case. But a crook's friend were the bridging from a pin to an anchor. He rate the bee, black man, like that. So any little thing, he kind of show we what a go on and sitting. And he make we know even the red new car will come. She said while racing the license plate number of the private police vehicle. The witness then remarks to Christy that it was a good thing that they had the cop on their side. Right, any little thing him tell we, him right, the hombre thing me I tell you, she said. Yeah man, keep the link with him, the witness added. Christy was then heard saying that the policeman also told her told her that black man was going to be released as the police did not have any information on the alleged done while adding that no one was going to come forward with any information on the gangs accused allege i obtained suggested he could help with visa a member of the wandan faction of the clansman gang was heard in a secret cell phone recording conversation saying that a dancehall artist entertainer had suggested that he could help him leave Jamaica if he fork out 250000 for a visa. The conversation was allegedly between a gangster known as Crux, the alias of defendant Fabian Johnson and the former gangster now state witness in the ongoing trial in another phone conversation played in the home circuit court on Tuesday. Another gangster, Citibus, detailed how he planned to take out a man at Spanish Town Courthouse in St. Catherine. Additionally, Crocs suggested that, in addition to the criminal organization restarting its new notorious acts, they should consider entering into illegal drugs, specifically cocaine, to restore the finance of the organization. The secret phone recordings from the part of crucial evidence being led by the prosecution at the key witness keenly watch keenly watch gang trial that's under 
way in downtown Kingston get 33 accused individuals, including reputed gang leader Andre Blackman Bryan, are being tried for a raft of criminal offence. Crux was lamenting the expense venture of playing for a visa to go overseas as entertainer Ayakteen, whose real name is Boyomi Moore, had allegedly suggested Link all the boy acting upon the thing, he might tell me about 250 coming like a joke thing he might deal with, Crooks told the witness, who later queried whether the recording artist was giving him 250 or selling him something for that price. Not the pan, no, pan my thing, pan book thing, man Crooks responded. Oh, 250 asked the witness. Him, entertainer, can book the thing. No one left for better charge, Crooks indicated. Prosecutor then asked the witness to clarify what the conversation was about. He told the court that before the conversation, Crooks had mentioned to him that he had asked Ayakteen to assist him with leaving the island. The ex-gangster who alleged he was the second in command of the gang, said Crooks also told him that Dancer Star could help him get the visa. Could help him get the visa and form a part of his touring in entourage. Further, he testified that Crooks was also inquired about some money the entertainer allegedly had for Brian. According to the witness, the gangster were to collect the money from the entertainer and order given by Brian. It is not clear what the money was for. Crooks was asking him, Ayakteen, if he can help him leave the country. And Ayakteen tell him, him, ah, uh, easy thing that him can get a visa, make him come out, tour, both him responsible for testified. The former gangster, however, the alleged plan failed as Crooks was eventually arrested. It is not the first time that Ayakteen's name has been mentioned at the trial. In November, the same witness had testified that Gangster would visit the artist at recording studio. The former Gangster had then testified that members of one of the Wangan faction of the gang were close associates of people's in the entertainment industry. According to him, Crocs, Brian and himself would allegedly visit the recording studio owned by Ayakteen. The witness said they went there to record music. Ayakteen had it back at the media reports mentioning him, his name, at the trial, but refusing suggestion that the members of the Wandan faction of the Klangsman gang accompanied him to studio recording. Later in November, a detective attached to the counter-terrorism and organized crime. CTAC, one of the investigation officers in the case, said Johnson went arrested, suggested that he was a musician and an affiliate, affiliate of Ayakteen. The policeman did not go into details about Johnson's affiliation with the entertainer. Meanwhile, another secret phone recording played on Tuesday featured Brian Sitipus and Crooks and the witness. Sitipus was relieved, revealing how he wanted to take out a man who received bail after attending court at the Spanish Town Police Station. At the Spanish Town Courthouse, a poor Mormide and B. Carla say Bones get bail in a demand in ya. In a, he told the gangster. He explained that Bones was charged with his friend slap away. Me turn up at the back of the courthouse and watch them a drive with bones cars. I'm a friend get slap away. He might get bail for half half day. Me turn up the city post said. He allegedly that someone he referred to as Clark get up in a spirit and tell them say gunman out there for take out him life. Added the gangster that time Adams have 100 car back at him and say 
go all road cause Adam's ear was gone. In another section of the recording, Brian again stated his desire to return home to continue his criminal act. He also told the gangster that the police had no evidence against him cause them just a right, them nah, no witness. You see me, me need for come out the dog. Assure Brian, you need for the road, make the thing happy again, said the witness who was recording the conversation. Crooks intervened in the conversation and suggested that it was time for the criminal network to venture into other areas of criminality. We have to lift up the build, up the thing. Them boy they forget touch man. Them all they out there a sign peace deal coming like we need to load off some coke thing, you know. Cause I eat the dog them a deal with, said the gangster. Asked by the prosecutor to explain what the gangster was suggesting. The witness said other members of the criminal organization were dealing in cocaine. The illegal drugs business was also being pursued by other criminals from Denham Town, the witness disclosed. Brian and his 31 cronies are charged under the Criminal Supplantation Criminal Act. They have been charged with multiple offenses being a part of a criminal organization, illegal possession of a firearm, illegal possession of ammunition, facilitating and conspiracy. The viewers, the thing get at. So once more, we heard Mr. Ayaktin name being called again in the case about his involvement with the criminal organization. So we don't really know what go on or what Ayaktin really a plan. But just leave some comment down below in the comment section. Bless up.